What happened to Richard Marx? Richard Noel Marx was born September 16, 1963 in Chicago, Illinois, to a commercial jingle writing father and a jingle singing mother. He spent the majority of his childhood in recording studios. Marx began recording jingles at the age of five and began writing his tunes as a teenager. Through a series of connections in the music industry, Marx was able to get a demo he had recorded to vocalist Lionel Richie, who was still a member of the Commodores at the time. Marx moved to Los Angeles at Richie's insistence and began working as a backup vocalist for several recording artists, including George Benson, Whitney Houston, Dolly Parton, Madonna, Barbara Streisand, Billy Joel, and Julio Iglesias, beginning in 1980. Marx also contributed backing vocals on Lionel Richie's solo albums such as the classic songs All Night Long and Running With The Night. Marx supplemented his income as a background vocalist by creating songs that were recorded by performers such as Kenny Rogers and Chicago. The songwriter also contributed to film soundtracks, notably those for St. Elmo's Fire and The Goonies, both released in 1985. Marx met Cynthia Rhodes, the film's female protagonist, while working as a contributing musician for the 1983 John Travolta picture, Staying Alive, which was a sequel to the phenomenally hit Saturday Night Fever. It was a big hit in 1978, and the sequel, on the other hand, is pretty bad from what I've heard, but let's just continue with Richard Marx. But despite his popularity as a songwriter and regular contributions as a background vocalist, Mark struggled to find success as a solo recording artist until 1987, when EMI published his first album, Richard Marx. In 1987, four singles from Richard Marx's album, which reached number 8 on the album charts, reached number 1 on the popular music charts. One of these singles, the ballad Hold On To The Nights, was well liked by pop music listeners and spent many weeks at the top. Don't Mean Nothing and Should Have Known Better, both of which reached number 3 on the charts, and Endless Summer Nights, which reached number 2, were among Marx's other chart-topping tracks from his debut album. His typical passionately gruff, strong vocal style was on show throughout the tracks, as was his trademark theme of love and otherwise, and other stuff. Marx was highly popular among MTV viewers, especially female viewers, due to his young looks. Crowned by a flowing mane of black hair and charisma, and the matching music videos for the songs presented Marx as a passionate and frequently lovesick romantic figure. Repeat Offender, Marx's second album was released in 1989 and soon went triple platinum with the number one singles Satisfied and Right Here Waiting. Satisfied was not only popular with fans but also with music critics, which was an unusual feat for a Marx song. Critics praised the singer for his powerful, heartfelt vocal performance on the song, which deviated from Marx's customary romantic ballad formula. Another repeat offender song, Angelia, reached number 4 on the charts in 1989 while Too Late to Say Goodbye reached number 12 in 1990. In 1990, Children of the Night reached number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100. The song praised and raised money for the Children of the Night organization in Los Angeles which provides services for runaway children and teenage prostitutes. Marx established himself as a powerful force in the 1980s music scene and early 90s as well with the songs and visuals from this second album. Rush Street was released in 1991 and while it was not as popular as its predecessors, it did provide three top 20 singles, including Take This Heart which reached number 20, Keep Coming Back which reached number 12, and Hazard which reached number 9. He took part in a marketing stunt in which he performed five concerts in 24 hours, traveling from one coast of the United States to the other, to boost sales of his third album. The mini tour kicked off in a Baltimore airport and ended in a Los Angeles airport, with stops in New York, Cleveland, and Chicago in between. His 1994 album, Paid Vacation, like his previous releases, were not well received by critics who saw it as more of the same rock ballads and top 40 sounds that the singer had previously recorded. Critics, on the other hand, praised Mark's vocal ability once more. Despite this, critics continued to be critical of his lyrics and melodies. Paid Vacation singles One More Try and Nothing Left Behind Us were most frequently played on the radio, and the album had a minor hit. His third album, Flesh and Bone, was released in 1997 after a three-year hiatus. 
The album was created to cater to the fans who had embraced Marx in the late 80s and early 90s, with celebrity guest vocalists such as Luther Vandross and Randy Jackson giving their talents to the mix of songs that were, as always, penned by Marx. His vocals were regarded as more mature, and at the age of 34, his voice was most definitely more seasoned than it had been on his debut album 10 years earlier, and richer than they had been previously, despite the album's lackluster critical reception. His fifth album was Noble for its collaboration with the NARES Foundation. Mark solicited photos, paintings, sketches, short stories, and poetry from high school students across the country, and the winning contributions were featured in the CD booklet for Flesh and Bone. Marx also donated money from the sale of Until I Find You Again, the first single from Flesh and Bone, to the NARES Foundation, and produced five songs submitted by students for an album issued with the same organization's help. The project piqued the singer's interest. In November 1997, Marx's Grace Hits compilation was released. The 16-track album features Angel's Lullaby, a song composed about his children that first appeared on For Our Children 2, a compilation CD published in 1996 to aid the Pediatric AIDS Foundation, as well as popular hits from his first five albums. In November 1998, Grace Hits was published in Asia, including two new tracks, Slipping Away and Thanks to You, an homage to his mother. In the United States, the album was certified gold. Days in Avalon, his sixth studio album, was released in 2000. Marx and former Blood, Sweat, and Tears drummer and record producer Bobby Columbi created the Signal 21 Records label, which published this album. Marx released My Own Best Enemy in 2004 after establishing a new agreement with his old company, Manhattan Records. Marx worked with Vertical Horizons lead singer Matt Scannell on the 2008 album, Duo. Marx was featured in a PBS television series called Songwriters in the Round Presents, Legends and Lyrics, on June 12, 2008. Marx made an appearance in episode 102 of the first season, alongside Kenny Loggins, Nathan Lee, and the rock band Three Doors Down. Diane Warren, a singer-songwriter, was also interviewed in this episode. Emotional Remains and Sundown were available as digital downloads on Mark's official site on October 31, 2008. Mark's headline, News of Palooza, a benefit for cystic fibrosis research hosted by WLS Row AM's con program on December 6, 2008, in which he sang some of his classics with his band as well as accompanying Chicago broadcast news reporters and anchors covering rock hits. Mark stated he was ashamed of being tied to a $1.92 million fine against single mother Jamie Thomas Razzett by the Recording Industry Association of America in an interview published in Rolling Stone on June 26, 2009. In 2005, Razzett uploaded 24 songs to a file sharing service, one of which being Mark's Now and Forever. For Vertical Horizon's 2009 album, Burning the Days, Mark's performed piano on the song here and produced Matt Scandal's vocals on two tracks. Marx released Stories to Tell, his first purely acoustic album, in March 2010. Hugh Jackman called Marx onto the stage at the Curran Theater in San Francisco on May 3, 2011. Hugh Jackman in performance had just opened its doors. Jackman and Marx performed a duet of Right Here Waiting, with Marx modifying the last chorus's lyrics to Right Here Waiting for Hugh. On May 3, 2011, a three-disc edition of Stories to Tell was released exclusively through Walmart in the United States. A best-of disc, an acoustic disc of music, and a DVD of a live concert performance in England's Shepherd's Bush venue were included in the set. The album was also sold on iTunes and Amazon, but without the bonus DVD or album booklet. In Europe, Everybody was released as a single, while in the United States, When You Love Me reached the top 20 on the adult contemporary chart. Marx teamed up with the online comedy group Rhett and Link in the summer of 2011 to produce a celebrity endorsement for a colon cleansing spa in Sacramento, California. The commercial and its making of were featured on an IFC episode of Rhett and Link's Commercial Kings. Marx released the Christmas EP, a five-song collection of Christmas tunes, on November 1, 2011. Marx released Christmas Spirit, a full album of holiday songs, in October 2012, as a follow-up to the Christmas EP. 
Brandon, born 1990, Lucas, born 1992, and Jesse, born 1994, are his three sons. He previously lived in Lake Bluff, Illinois. He is now based in Malibu, California. After 25 years of marriage, he and Cynthia Rhodes announced their divorce in April 2014. Beautiful Goodbye, his 11th studio album, was released on July 8, 2014. Marks married entrepreneur and former MTV VJ Daisy Fuentes in Aspen, Colorado on December 23, 2015, according to his official Facebook page. On December 21, 2016, it was reported that while he and his wife were on a trip heading to South Korea, Marks assisted Korean air flight attendants in calming a rowdy, likely drunk passenger, even getting photographic evidence of the occurrence. He also chastised the airline for how it handled the incident. Korean Air responded by saying that in the future they'll be more served in similar circumstances. Limitless, his most recent album, was released on February 7, 2020. The album's debut track, Another One Down, reached number 14 on Billboard's Adele Contemporary chart, making this his 32nd year in the genre. He also made an appearance in the Family Guy episode Young Parent Trap in the year 2021. Marx's autobiography Stories to Tell was also published in 2021 in July. And that's what happened to Richard Marx. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to support this channel, head up to my Patreon account. There should be a link either on screen or in the description below. When you check that out, or after before, you could also check out this playlist I have on screen of some of my favorite Richard Marx songs and let me know in the comments, give me some of your favorites as well. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.